Hi, I'm Noah. This summer my wife and I are having twins. We're going to Kaiser Permanente so often that now the nurses are greeting us like when Norm walks into Cheers. Amanda and I like television. I'm not ashamed to admit it. So, in addition to meeting other pregnant couples, we've been keeping a close eye on how pregnancy and delivery have been depicted on our favorite TV shows this year. The following video contains spoilers for 30 Rock, The New Adventures of Old Christine, Desperate Housewives Lost in the Office. On 30 Rock, Tracy Jordan decided that he wanted to have a daughter, so he and his wife conceived on New Year's Eve. And uh, he's convinced that it's going to be a girl because he yelled out Susan B. Anthony at the moment of conception. We tried this too, but I accidentally, instead of saying Susan B. Anthony, I said Anthony Daniels, so Amanda is probably going to give birth to two droids. On The New Adventures of Old Christine, New Christine gave birth to a baby on Old Christine's birthday. Now, I'm, I'm kind of sympathetic to this because uh, our due date is very close to my birthday, so it's very possible that I'll wind up sharing my birthday with, uh, uh, with our twins. Um, but you see, the thing is, I'm okay with this because my birthday is already three days after my anniversary, and it's four days after my brother's anniversary, so you see, by that point, my birthday is already kind of an afterthought. I've come to terms with this. On Desperate Housewives, Lynette, who already has teenage twins, was pregnant with twins again. But then a small airplane crashed on her street, and while she was trying to save her friend's child, she got injured and lost one of the babies. Thanks, ABC. Thanks for putting that on the air while my wife and I are expecting twins. Oh, and then when she went into labor, she couldn't go to the hospital because she was being held hostage by a serial killer, um, who then wound up delivering the baby. Again, thanks, ABC. Meanwhile, on Lost, uh, we, we got to see Claire give birth to Aaron again. You see, she gave birth to him in the first season, but, uh, but then um, uh, she gave birth to him again in the sideways world, which it turned out was really just the fig a figment of the imagination of all the characters after they died, or something like that. They don't cover that in uh, What to Expect When You're Expecting. But for us, the more relevant birth on Lost was the birth of uh, Jacob and the man in black. See, we learned that they were twin brothers. Their, their mother was brought to the island by uh, the island's protector, who was played by Allison Janney, and then she helped to deliver the babies, and then she killed their mother with a rock. Yet again, thanks, ABC. Yeah, that was kind of freaky to watch. A, a woman gives birth to twins, and then she gets murdered. Uh, but we mollify ourselves that our, our delivery will not be anything like that. We're giving birth in a, a Kaiser Permanente facility in Woodland Hills, California, not a, a magic island that disappears and reappears randomly anywhere in the oceans of the world. And, and the people present at the birth will be doctors and nurses using sterilized instruments, not Alice and Janney using a rock. Wait. I just remembered. You know who does the voiceovers in the commercials for Kaiser Permanente? Alice and Janney. But, of course, my favorite birth of the year was Jim and Pam on The Office. Oh, yeah, I, I love Jim and Pam. I love that their baby was born the same year as our babies are going to be. Wouldn't it be cool if like, we could set up a play date with, uh, for our twins to play with Jim and Pam's baby? Actually, I wouldn't mind setting up a play date just for me and Pam to play together, but, uh, well, that's another story. So, is there a point to all of this? No, not really. Bye.